So here are the basics of this exercise. There should be at least two purses in the water. Uh, we, one will be the releaser of the float and one will be the catcher of the float. We will stretch a rope that we have uh, given or a known distance over the water. The rope has to be stretched very tight or taut, T-A-U-T. And then the person releases the float and we time how long it takes for the float to make it down to the person who will catch the float. Uh, go! Yes, we have done that a couple of times. Average. Yeah, just lay it on the water. Thirty nine seconds. Thirty nine seventy six. Thirty nine seventy six first. No man, I record we are recording now. Remember say this step on camera you now. Thirty nine seventy six. We can watch over the video. We can watch over the video. Just lay it on the water, yeah. And go. This is the second attempt. Thirty-seven forty. Thirty-seven forty. Thirty-seven. No worry, yourself, man. Thirty-seven ninety-six first one. Thirty-seven forty. So this one is a quicker one. Thirty-seven ninety-six. Thirty-seven forty. Yeah, man. So maybe the, the first one because it drop in, it slow down a little bit. Yeah, man. Yo, I hear it, brother. Come on, let's see, it, brother. Oh, you can't manage all of that. No, man, me, me, I remember it, man. You can't, me can't forget, plus it is being recorded. 37.96 first one, 37.40 second one. No, no, I'll make you a holy camera, you know. Yeah, man. Yo, Brandon, hear it. Come on. That must be done. Alright. Wait. Man, we just have to play about the video. Alright, come on. You can't do anything about the video. Watch out, 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 watch out. My head drop. Alright, switch it out back again. Go. You think it a move slow? Thirty-eight, 
Fix sticks. Fix sticks. Ah, try catch no fish.
Now, Seaford presented the greatest surprise and difficulty for us on this virtual free field trip. As you can see, there are large stones as far as the eye can see. It seems for as far miles almost. Now, last year when we were here, all of this area was underwater. This was one large river last year. So you can understand our surprise when we saw all of this. Now, as you know, um, the rains of last year, November to December, brought down significant load and material um, to places in St. Thomas. And many persons were put out of their homes. Roads were blocked. You know, soldiers had to go down there to rescue a few people. And up here, this section of the river, this, was, this area was not spared. And what you see remaining is the remnants of the load that was carried down by the river. So you can imagine how much water and how much material was actually transported so that we can have all of this area of sand. Um, we thought that little area was the only part of the river, but we realized the material, the load, actually separated the river into two channels. So we conducted the velocity test and measured the width of the river over this section as we thought that this was a better area to conduct our field data. But it, it is indeed mind-boggling sometimes when we look back. Look at all of this. Look at all of this. All of this was brought down by the river. It, it looks as if somebody literally carried many bulldozers and brought this material here. But all of this was transported by the river during the time of flooding. It's amazing, isn't it?
Thirty one twenty. Thirty one twenty. Thirty one twenty. Alright, alright. Yeah. Thirty one twenty. I know how could I say. You know how could I say? You see all of them bowlers and I think that? No, man. No, the, up, the one up, sir. You can say, oh, this is one of the faster. Well, they have less obstruction on them. They are greater yeah, volume. Yeah. All right, All right, safety, safety first, first again. again. Better, Better to have it recorded, recorded on, on your, your camera, camera and, and also, also written down, down in your notebook, notebook than to just have it recorded, recorded on your camera and you lose the footage because it gets corrupted or something. So, as you can see, we're writing down. Um, now, look here. This is this year, what it looked like this year. And... Here's a picture of what we looked like last year. So all of this area was underwater last year. This is what it looks like this year. Last year. This year. As far as the eye can see. Such a difference. Last year. It was a huge area of water. So many students were in there. Look at it this year. Separated in the two All right. No, I want you to walk from here and go over there and tell me what you and tell me what you think about the color of the water. I want you to tell me what you think about the color of the water over there. Everybody, go over there and tell me what you think about the color of the water. Oh, okay. No! Big ass out of the... <laughs> All right, so why you think one? Why you think this water cold and this water hot? All right, so this is actually a confluence. That is one river. This meeting, this river. I believe this river is a Nigger River. Meeting the Yalas River over there. I believe this is the Yalas River over there. And they're meeting at this point, which is called a confluence. So, well, what I observed in the river.